I'm Hamza Hawi, mobile and web VR developer and founder of Hayo. Uh, as you know, I'm going to talk about virtual reality with React and how can we create uh, new VR experiences using React 360 framework and run it into our web browser and all the VR devices. To get started, what is React 360? React 360 is JavaScript framework created by Facebook for the creation of 3D and VR user interfaces built on the top of React. This library is designed to simplify the creation of complex UI. And as you know, React 360 allows us to use the familiar concepts and tools of React and React Native. To get started, all what you have to do is uh, install the React 360 CLI via NPM, then init a new project and do an NPM start to make sure that everything is going fine and you will have your default project into uh, your web browser. For the folder structure, we have the static assets folder uh, which contains our 3D objects files and the material files, sounds, images, videos, all the media files should be here and uh, we have the client GS file and here where we create our locations and surfaces and we have the index file which is our main file. For the components, we have four main components. First, the views, which is kind of like divs, and text component, and the image component, and the VR button, which is a normal button, but on VR. The most important thing on VR is surfaces. We have uh, we use surfaces to render the 2D UI components and we have two types of surfaces uh, cylinder surface and the flat surface uh, we have two angles the yaw angle and the pitch angle and every surface should have a width and the height that should be given by the developer For the location, locations are used to, to render 3D UI components and we use the Cartesian coordinate X, Y and Z and at the end we create a new route which will help us to connect our surface to the app registry on the index file. As you see here we have the Z axis and here if z is uh, negative the object will be on the front if z is positive the object will be on the back and we have the x for the pitch and uh, y for the o uh, here is an example so here we'll, we like to add 3d object into our uh, uh, vr application J all what we have to do is importing the entity from entity entity is used to render the 3d objects on react 360 uh, we use here the if you like you will use the ambient light for the light intensity and we use the source to give the the link to our object here our object have two for two Two extensions the object and the material and we can style it as you see here we have transforms tra transforms and too many uh, options to style our 3d object if you like to run this application on your web browser just just scan the following QR code and you will have this uh, application on your phone or your web browser on computer on any VR device and now we will move to the code let's see what we have uh, here is what this looks like it 
similar to react native and react as you see here we use the flexbox for the styling and we have the client file as you see here we have a new surface and we give it a, a root which is a slide root and if you go to the index file you will see here we have the app registry with the slide root and the class name which is a slides where it is here it is and for the 3d objects we have a model the model class and as you see here we have the entity object with an asset which is a Porsche car and uh, we give it texture which is a default image that we have here uh, so let's run it into our web browser just do localhost and run it and wait until it's fresh and here we are in our React 360 application, as, we, as you see here, we have the slides, the channel. Today I'm and we can change between them. Uh, we can as you guys already know, uh, I basically we have video, uh, video here, that I created called the and we have strategy. the. We, we can change our background image. Launch about two or three years ago. No, it's like four years ago. But every time I actually try to do a small update and try to see, hey. I think it's all what you have to know about React 360 to get started. For further questions or help, just contact me on Twitter or GitHub, Facebook, uh, email, and thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the talk, and thank you for everything. Bye.